<laughs> Rob Bin. So what is this again? Dr. Phil is on a uh, a yeah, dating is that website? a commercial and it just annoys me that that he blurts out these uh little sound bites, these little tidbits of psychological wisdom and thinks that that's going to fix anything. I like to call it psycho babble for anybody. It's just nonsense. Yeah. It's nonsense. It's these little sayings that that are are nothing short of a fortune cookie filling. They're just <laughs> garbage. It should be in a in a piece of bubble gum. <laughs> it should be. It should be on, in a, a piece of bazooka. bazooka Joe. Yeah, bazooka Joe is funny though. That. <laughs> oh, the comic oh, in there. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Always <laughs> funny. Hey, bazooka J. <laughs> Watch it. Hey, what is Mort saying? It's the one with the turtleneck up over it. Oh, <laughs> you want to read some of these? The first one, right off the bat. Uh, you want Iraq to read these? Yeah, it'll sound good in Iraq. I, I, I happen to agree with the first one. Very no, much. no, the first one no. is complete BS. No, it's not. Yes, it is. Iraq, read the first one. This is a Doctor Phil. Uh, what are the, What are they called? Doctor Philosums. Phil Philosums. Doctor Philosophies. Philosums. <laughs> Call in with your philosophies. Yeah, Dr. Philosophs. <laughs> Call it when you're... Psychological whistle. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that Dr. Phil. Oh, easy, Dr. Phil. We're, we're, yeah. we're all doing Jim Norton characters now. Whoa, oh, hey. You're crazy. <laughs> oh, calm down a bit. <laughs> all right, get it, Iraq. The first one. Anger is nothing more than an outward expression of hurt, fear, and frustration. How come you can never just read in your talking voice? <laughs> Anger is nothing but ba 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 da da. Singy songy singy song. Singy songy singy song. What are you doing? This is not a book on tape, El Zilcho. <laughs> oh. Once again, we got a great bit, but we're distracted by the awfulness that is Iraq. See, right now I'm angry at Iraq. It has nothing to do with hurt, fear, or frustration. Iraq, you never sound like that. I talked. We all obviously we all talked to you. Hey, Yopi, how are you doing well, today? Anthony, I have to make sure every word that I say is another note. I don't want the same note uh, coming out for the same word twice. <laughs> What are you doing? Like, Anger is nothing more than an over. He has absolutely no self confidence. It's it's just terrific. Read it again like a real human. <clears throat> All right, go ahead, Iraq. Right. Anger is nothing more than an outward expression of hurt, fear, and frustration. There you go. <laughs> he tried so hard <laughs> to. He tried to keep it monotone. <laughs> Anger is nothing more than an outward expression of hurt, fear, and frustration. Uh, what does that mean? He really? can't win. What does that mean? Yeah, what does that mean, and why do you agree with it? Well, I, again, with certain things, like when, when you have moments of outbursts and traffic, and stuff, I'm not talking about those. Like, like I'm talking about... No, that's like, anger. It, it is, but it's frustration more than anything. Uh, fear or frustration. That's more than anything. It, it's like normally, as a man, I, I'm very comfortable being angry because if my girlfriend, say, pisses me off, like say she mentions another guy or whatever, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, I get very jealous and my feelings get hurt, but it's not easy for me to say, hey, you hurt my feelings. Cause that's not masculine. It, it's, it's very Anger is a very safe emotion for a guy to feel constantly. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, would you say most of anger is based in frustration? Or, or I'm afraid of something, or I'm afraid of losing something, or I'm hurt by something. Yeah. I'm not, again, I'm not saying you're never legitimately angry, but I'm saying I would 80% or 75% of my anger is one of those things. Jimmy, sure. Jimmy just wrecked a bit, because now I understand. Why don't, but you, no, just go, stuff is crap. why don't you suck Dr. Phil's... Why don't you just do yeah, that? Yeah, Grab his yeah. and just put it in your <laughs> until his <laughs> is all over your <laughs> <laughs> Just do that. But he'd say that Take was... Take it in your... Oh. On your... If I if I did that, <laughs> he'd say that was nothing more than my outward expression uh, of wanting to have a cigar. <laughs> <laughs> no, but no, a lot of this is crap. That's why I'm legitimizing. Right, I think so, it was legitimate, personally. All right, well... It's it's garbage. I don't I don't agree with that because sometimes anger doesn't have anything to do with hurt, fear, or frustration. All right. You can't categorize anger into three uh, uh, three little bins. Hey, let's put anger in this. It's either this, this, or this. Sometimes anger is um. Let's see, it could be anger. But when is it? I'm but, not saying never, but, but when? But when? Yeah. Let but me he, think. But he he has this now. What? Well, being honest, now about, what? I, I think it's helpful to be honest. If I'm hurt, 
Uh, if I tell my girlfriend I'm hurt, it's really hard to do. She's going to openly laugh at you. No, we, no. We know your girl. She's going to be like... <laughs> no, she likes that, actually, because she's, so, she's like, it's really hard to be around someone who's raging all the time. <laughs> she told me that, because I'm constantly... Me, her, and Kenny were in a, a, a restaurant, and the guy wouldn't seat us where I wanted to be seated in Boston, and I was just quietly seething at the table. Did that fit in the frustration bin? Yes, it absolutely did. It was basically I didn't get what mm. I wanted. Um, and I was seething, and I'm just like, I hate Italians. And she's like, I'm half. She got mad at me for saying that because like, and I'm part Italian, so I don't hate Italians. Yeah. I was just angry. You're part Italian? Yeah, my father's whole the whole side, the whole the Coil family, the old Italians. Really? I think so. Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, I have a lot of Italians, honestly. Oh, I just learned something about you. Wow. All right, other ones here. All right, this one is ridiculous, and I defy uh, even Jimmy Norton, Doctor James Norton, to uh, get this one. Uh, awareness without action is worthless. I agree completely. <laughs> You're ruining our bit. Awareness without action is worthless. Okay, what does that mean? Uh, okay. Uh, I know I'm an alcoholic. Mm -hmm. I'm aware of it. But mm -hmm. I'm not going to take any actions to stop drinking. So my knowledge is worthless. Who cares if I know it? It's like knowing you have cancer without going for chemo. Big deal. You know it. It's worthless. Why is it worthless? Because... Knowledge is never worthless, whether you use it or not. Yeah, I don't know about yeah. that. Like, it says awareness without action is worth. Like, like, knowledge, you have to own something first. Like, I yeah. have to kind of own it and know it. But if I don't act on it, who cares if I know it? If you know you, ha you have a... Like, okay, you know you're sick. Yeah. What what does that do for you if you don't take actions to, to either prevent getting sicker or get, or get better? It's worthless knowledge. Who cares? I mean, the nothing. statement itself is worthless. <laughs> it's like, okay... I might even agree with you on that, but who cares? All right, I'll agree with that. <laughs> I'll agree with that. Okay. What about uh, get up each morning, look at yourself in the mirror, hmm. and see yourself not as someone who is overweight or out of shape. But, but as an Opie and Anthony listener. But as the someone... <laughs> 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 That's right, most uh, of you are fat. Oh, if you were at Bar 9 Friday, you'd see how funny that joke really is. <laughs> uh, but as someone, you will become crap. Thank you. Mm -hmm. you. You agree, Steve? You're shaking your head no. You're saying no to us yes. or no to that. No, I agreed that it's crap. Yeah, it's crap. Yeah. I think it's crap. And right. I think it's one before that. Failure is no accident. Oh, shut up, you hillbilly hack. <laughs> what does that mean? Sometimes it is. Shut up. Failure. Like every time you fail, it's because this you 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 were doing something that you knew was going to make you fail. No, no, Doctor Phil. All right, let's move on. Stupid Doctor Phil. Sorry, I wrecked the bit. And life is a marathon, not a sprint. Did you make that up? That's crap. Jimmy wrecked the bit. I'm sorry. I just there was some I agreed with and some that I thought were crap. So I figured if I said the ones I agree with, like I, I don't lie. And then there's some of them, like this one. The quickest way from A to B is not always at the most feverish pace. Ugh. I like it. Is. And the most you get is what you ask for. Bull. That's that's complete crap. A lot of people get a lot more than they ask for, and a lot of people get a lot less than they ask for. Absolutely. My girlfriend Veruca Salt. <laughs> <laughs> this guy is just he puts things in too uh, simplistic of terms and that's my biggest problem with him yeah all right uh let's go to uh michelle in jersey michelle what's up hi i just want to say he's just no genius you know here's one for you words every asshole can look them up you know? That's good. Words. Some dummies don't know which ones you can use on the radio. How's that? Oh, oh, oh. Stupid. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's not exactly the gray area with the FCC. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, she's basically saying he's no genius. All right. Very good. Michelle. Hey, Fast Freddy from Jamaica Station writes, Holy ass, look at the Hillary photo just posted on Drudge. We love awful Hillary uh, picks. Could you find right. that for us, E Rock? E Rock's trying to find Drudge. And all the stuff we talk about visually. What is that? <laughs> wow. We put up on onaradio.com uh, later in the day. The picture we're looking at is uh, a close up of Hillary's awful lips and, and the area around her lips. It looks like uh, a different hole on a body. 
Now you understand why. Uh, Except, yeah, that why might have more substance coming out of it. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Sorry, man. Now you understand why her husband went somewhere else for you know that oh. that type of pleasure. Pleasure. Who would want to? Uh, <laughs> Wow, I wish we were at the other place right now. <laughs> I, I got I got to see this wow, uh, look, up close for look myself. Look at this picture. We'll put it up on onaradio.com. Uh, or if you're at a computer right now, you can check <clears> it out for yourself. That is an awful picture of her mouth. Drug oh, Drug God. Laser. They always post pictures like that. <laughs> oh, that it's, looks like the face on Mars. It's just not you right. You turn your head sideways. You would bet. I would bet a lot of money. Not a little money, a lot of money. That if they zoomed out on that picture, that th it was a trick and it was a guy with lipstick on. Yeah, yeah. A Word, guy's mouth. You? A guy's mouth with lipstick <laughs> on it. An old guy. Look at the lipstick wicking up her canals Ugh. that are coming off of her lips. Wow. Oh. She's an like, older lady. Looks like a dried up riverbed. Yeah. It does. It looks like. Um, it looks like the posterior. Ah, don't. Wow, you really blew that up, didn't don't, you? Don't zoom in on that. She has a face like a mummy. <laughs> Old mummy face. With mummy. less charisma. <laughs> oh, she blew it. She oh. doesn't have a shot at this she point. She really has awful lips. <laughs> She's got the worst lips. How about some water, man? She looks like she has awful breath, and she probably doesn't, but every time I see her talk, I think her breath just stinks like coffee and nervousness. <laughs> I don't know why I think that about it. Would her. you let her kiss you on the lips? Yeah, probably would, just for the story. Just for the goof, right? Yeah, why not? Just to yeah. say you uh, made out with her. I was hoping you would say yes. Oh, of course. I wasn't going for a no there. No. Mm -hmm. All right, good. Mm -hmm. The therapy uh, therapist has erected everything. And, and oh, no, my therapist is helping me a lot. <laughs> Thanks, Thanks Bev. Cool. All right, uh, we got to take another break. What about the fat people, though? Right after the break, we're going to do the fat people. Fat people. Not bad sex, and we'll try to sneak in the Clemens audio before we get out of here. Bad sex. All right. Is that news? It really? certainly is. Is it? Yeah. I mean, who? I thought their lives were just fun and full of good <laughs> hot that, times. Yeah. Yeah, but you know, we 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 do a, a poll. <laughs> Time for another poll, guys. <laughs> good. How about another poll? <laughs> They only have bad sex because halfway through they have to stop and eat a Zeppeli. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of guys will call this radio show after the break and say that, uh, you know, fat chicks have given them the best sex of their lives. Yeah, that, I think Telling that's a right rumor, now. too. The whole, they tr the whole uh, philosophy, they try harder. Would you rather have uh, not, like, amazing, fantastic sex, but better sex with a fat broad or so-so sex with a hot broad if i may use the term broad now that we're here in the new year of 1958 <laughs> i talk about a, a a fat girl or a hot girl average sex with a hot girl average let's let's even say a little below average sex with a hot girl or a little above average sex with a fat girl the answer after this oh would you take a lazy Misha Barton or an enthusiastic Rosie? <laughs> <laughs> See, now you blew it, blew it with the Rosie thing. Now I got that visual in my head. You just made my answer very easy. Opie and Anthony. Rob, bitch, rob, rob, bitch, bitch, rob, bitch, 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 bitch